What you're looking at here is some common milkweed that I grow for the monarch butterflies. While I was walking around looking at plants, I noticed that there's a war going on at the top of one of these plants. When I see lots of ants on a milkweed plant, I always thank aphids. Now let's take a closer look at some of the combatants. At first glance, you might think, oh my goodness, all of those bugs, I need to spray that plant before they kill it. But in this case, I think it would be a mistake, so let me show you why. The aphids are there to feed off of the plant, and they secrete a substance called honeydew, and the ants love honeydew. In return for the honeydew, the ants do their best to protect the aphids. So they have a symbiotic relationship. So the aphids are the bad guys, and the ants are there to help the aphids. But the good guys have already showed up to help if we let them. What you're looking at are aphids here, here, and here. But there are already good guys in the picture. Those little round tan colored dots are actually called aphid mummies. Small parasitic wasps lay a single egg on an aphid and the new wasp develops inside the aphid and comes out as a winged adult. In this shot, that little white thing is a larva from a mealybug destroyer, which is a species of ladybug, or ladybird. Just to the left of it is a larva from a hoverfly, I believe. And both of those love to eat aphids. Here are a couple of mealybug destroyer larvae. And here is what I believe to be the hoverfly larva. Now that you know what you're looking at, it's probably easy to find those aphid mummies and the mealy bug destroyer larva. As well as protecting the aphids from bugs, the ants are trying to let me know to get away. While I was looking around, I also found a couple of seven spot ladybugs, and those were there to feed on the aphids too. This is what ladybug larvae look like. Ladybugs and their larvae can eat dozens of aphids every single day. And this is what their eggs look like, in case you ever see any in your garden. Another larva that likes to eat aphids is the larva of the green lacewing. This is a cucumber leaf with lots of aphids on it. To the right of the screen you'll see a green lacewing larva with an aphid in its mouth. Sometimes the predators don't show up soon enough to keep the aphids in check. When that happens, there's still one more thing you can do besides spray. I've bought ladybugs before when I had a bad infestation of aphids, and they really do a very good job. Here's a look at some cucumber leaves when I had a bad infestation of aphids. And as you can see, there's aphids on every leaf, and lots of them. You can see the few ladybug larvae, but uh, the ladybugs didn't show up in time to keep those aphids in check. I bought the ladybugs, turned them loose, and two weeks later this is what the leaves look like. They're all clean with no aphids. Even though there are still a few ladybugs and ladybug larvae hanging around trying to finish them off. Let us know how many natural predators you've seen in your garden. And if you're just now finding this channel, please subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.